because Fox is where the news is. Time to have some fun and imagine about tomorrow now. Movies can be a crystal ball in the future. We've seen that before. The technology on screen today can be in your home tomorrow. iRobot, Star Trek, they say a few examples out there. There's a new book called The Extreme Future, claiming that what was once science fiction will soon be reality. Dr. James Cantona is a renowned global futurist and author of The Extreme Future. Doctor, thanks here. Let's, uh, let's imagine together here. Put me into the future. First of all, how do you define the future? How far away is that? Well, my forecasts go out as little as uh, two to five years and as long as 25 to 50 years in the future. All right. I'm seeing fueling the future is one of these categories here. How will energy change, do you believe? Well, the current energy that we have both in the ground, all forms, both alternative and uh, petro, are just not enough to keep pace with uh, growth in the United States or around the world. We're going to need new energy sources, and people are working very quickly on that, whether it's next hydrogen or breakthroughs in solar, particularly solar voltaics. You're going to see a whole new generation of energy that comes out very shortly to meet growing demand, especially with China and India uh, increasing demand. We may be using as much as 50 percent more energy in 20 years, and we've got to have new solutions. I'm hearing hydrogen 50 years away still, and every time we do one of these segments, everybody keeps come, coming back to it. and. Uh, it has not been harnessed yet, but once it is harnessed, you'll have the energy of the sun. That's one thing. Medicine, how does that change tomorrow? Well, the most dramatic uh, breakthroughs in medicine, in my, my book, The Extreme Future, I have a chapter on longevity medicine. Medicine is about to be transformed by what we know about what's next in mapping the human genome. But more dramatically, life extension. That's the big impact. We're going to be able to uh, enable people to live longer, live healthier, and this will make for a very different world as people uh, really transform their notion of aging in that, the future. That takes us into the next topic, and that's science. Science, in a way, I guess, goes hand in hand with with medicine, I guess it also crosses over uh, into technology. How does science change our lives tomorrow? 